Hello again. Today we will talk about um, conditions and loops. So conditions, um, there's nothing really special about them in Rust. They're like in most programming languages. Uh, let's create a variable called condition. Uh, we're going to give a bool value of true. I can then have an if. Um, one thing that I must note is the syntax. You don't have parentheses as you have in tons of languages. You just write condition and then your normal curly brackets. And then suppose I want to print a value. Let's say uh, I'm just going to print the value of condition. So condition. Okay. If I come here, I do cargo run. I get an error because oh sorry, I got an N on print. We get true. Okay. Um, similarly, you can else you can have else ifs. Um, let's make this a little bit different. Let's do number equals uh, seven. Let's say the number modulus two. Then we print even. Um, the zoo else if number oops else if number remainder seven I was making a mistake sorry so here number modulus two this is not a boolean val uh, value so we would get an error what I want to do is I want to say equals equals saying that the remainder of the number modulus two is zero similarly here I want to do equals equals zero if I print say something like lucky and lastly I want to say um, odd okay so if I run this we get an error oh because I forgot the equal sign lucky okay and then we could change the value we could put one odd and etc normal things uh, the one thing about uh, conditionals that I want to talk about is that you can have conditionals in variable declarations. So something like um, variable declaration is equal to if, then I can, let's create our condition variable again. My condition equals true, if condition then we can give a value. So let's write a, an expression here. So let's say five. Um, one thing also that's important is that this if must have an else, okay? So if I were to just run this, uh, we get an error saying that, uh, well, this pretty much means we, have, we, need an, we need an else. So I gotta write an else and I'll write six, okay? So I run this. Get another error, but I forgot a semicolon. Running this, finished, we get odd, and we'll never print the value of y, of vd, sorry. So let's print that just so we can see it. vd equals vd. Running this, we get vd equals 5. Alright. Another important thing is we cannot have um, different. Uh, data types, so 5 and uh, string 5, um, this cannot happen because um, Rust compiler, they need to be aware that VD is being correctly used in every other part of the code, so it won't check the condition, so I must know at a compile time that both the if and else are returning the same value, okay? So if I run this, you see the expected integer but found string, okay? Uh, so that's it about uh, if. Now talking about loops, um, one different type of loop that we have in Rust is the loop type called, well, loop. What loop does is it loops infinitely. If I do loop print um, forever, I do run. Oh, yeah, there you go, the error again. So that's six. Cargo run, and we get forever, 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 forever. I gotta cancel it with, um, with control C. 
that cancels the code. So if you're ever stuck, you know, you can do control C. And yeah, one way to get away from, to get out from this infinite loop is to use the keyword. Oh, interesting. I was calling print as an expression here without the semicolon. And that worked out. So yeah, a little, little curiosity fact again. <laughs> anyway, I can have, suppose I want to do, I want to have a counter here. So let counter equals five. If I do counter minus equals one. If counter is less than, counter is less than zero, then I want to break. If I do cargo run, once again we're getting an error. Counter minus equals. Oh, we can make counter immutable. Cargo run. We have forever a couple times and then it stops because counter reached a value less than zero. Okay. Another cool thing you can do with loops is you can have it return something. Right? Just like we were doing before with the print being uh, an expression, we can create, um, let's call it, let's say VD1. And we can create a loop inside of the variable declaration. And let's say we want to do counter plus equals one. If counter is larger than 10, then, oops, then we want to break and we want to return counter. Okay. What this is going to do is, oh, I just said it actually, it's going to break and then it's going to return counter. Um, the semicolon here is optional. You can either add it or not add it. Doesn't really matter because the break is kind of like the return keyword. So it's doing the return for you. Let's do print macros and let's print VD1. Let's say VD1. Running this now. Unexpected token. I forgot the semicolon again. <laughs> Cargo run, we get VD equals 11, okay? Which is when it turned larger than 10. And we got the return from break. Um, another thing you can do is use while loops, pretty much the same as in other programming languages. Let's say counter is larger than zero, then do counter minus equals one. This counter is going to run. Let's print, let's print counter every time. Oh my god. I forgot the semicolon after print. Running counter every time we get 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And you know the drill. Last one I want to talk about, really used uh, loop construct in Rust, is for. Uh, the syntax for a for loop, I really like it in Rust, is for. You declare your, the variable that you'll be using in the for loop, in, and you define a range like so. What this is going to do is it's going to loop i from 1 to 4, um, 4 not included. Okay, so if I do our usual formatter, i, and run it. We didn't get an error this time, yay, let's go. Actually, wait, let me just add a couple of... Um, some, I don't know, something to distinguish from sections of code. This and this. Let's run it again. And we get. Oh, we forgot to put one here. Okay, so we got one, two, three. So once again, four not included. And that is it. A bit of a rushed video and a bunch of mistakes but hopefully you got something from it thank you so much for watching um, this marks the end of this first chapter in the video series so hope you liked it and I hope to see you in the next chapter
Bye.